Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this episode we are actually going to do the biggest upgrade and mod that I'm ever going to do on this E46 M3. Because today, or not today, but this is day one of uh, the whole process. It will take several days and I will not do it myself. It is quite a, a serious job, but I am now going to uh, put my car in the a garage and there a guy will help me replace my rod bearings actually and um, yeah so rod bearings are, are quite uh, like usual they are quite typical mistakes on these s54 engines and especially the ones on uh, this one which is a 2001 model so 2001 and 2002 and some 2003 are having like a faulty rod bearing issue so now I'm gonna switch to the like facelift uh, rod bearing and uh, I think that'll be pretty good that was that is the thing that has concerned me ever since I bought it and uh, I've been feeling like I cannot push the car as hard as I want to because of the rod bearings and uh, the car has 166,000 kilometers on the clock so I think it is time for a change and uh, it is very expensive to do this and um, but it is something that I simply just need to do because I don't want to ruin my engine so it sucks but it's something I really want to do and I do really want to take care of my S54 engine and give it a good treatment so um, yeah so this will be one video I think and uh, I will just bring you guys along uh, each day I will not be there every day when he's fixing on it for me but uh, I will try to be there most of the time because I also want to see how things work and how the car looks so he's going to dismount a lot of the car um, like the front suspension and everything uh, underneath the car in the front so he can take like work his way up and dismount the engine from underneath so he can change the rod bearings. The manufacturer for the rod bearings are called King. Uh, a lot of the guys in the United States are using those so they should be pretty good and it, it, this is kind of like the, the facelift uh, rod bearings as I said earlier as well so it's not like it doesn't have that faulty rod bearing issue like the preface engine has. So uh, yeah, I think this will be quite nice and I really like that I'm taking care of the engine. It really hurts in the, my wallet because it's so expensive, but it has to be done. I just feel like I need to do it. So, um, so I do want to change the tail lights. I do want new exhaust. I do want wheels. There's a lot of stuff I do want. I also want black roof here, but all those things just have to wait because I need rod bearings first. And uh, yeah. I just simply need that first. But now I'm not going to bore you anymore. Uh, by the way, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, so I know that you did like it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And also subscribe to me on Instagram. You'll get even more updates than you do right here. And uh, let's just get to the garage and I will show you the building process. Stay tuned and uh, hopefully you guys will learn something too. And uh, I know I will. So uh, yeah, this will be great fun. So let's see how it will turn out. And um, the guy, 
that is fixing on the car for me has started working on it already so I think he has actually gotten pretty far so uh, that's pretty good so uh, I hope I get to see some action and how the car and the everything looks like underneath inside the engine so uh, and I'm really curious to see what kind of conditions my old rod bearings are in so let's just go to uh, the garage and just see like how everything looks and how far he has gone so uh, the good thing about this is that I'm not only getting new rod bearings but I'm also getting new oil and I'm getting a new oil filter and I'm getting um, like a new gaskets new stuff are going on this car while I'm changing this like new oil new oil filter and uh, like new rod bearings of course because that's why I, I, that is what I am changing and also the like the gaskets the like uh, what do you call that the, the, the gasket in the bottom the cover gasket I don't know whatever the one at the bottom so it's good to change that as well so uh, yeah a lot of things will be changed and fixed with me fixing the rod bearings. So let's go to his garage and just see how everything looks. Those of you wondering, now that my E46 M3 is in the workshop, I'm now using my other car, which is an E36 335i. And uh, I do miss the sound by driving this, I must admit. It's, the sound is very different and sounds it sounds very, very good. back home again in my 325 and it was quite fun to see how it looks under the car and how the S54 engine looks inside and just seeing those rod bearings and the rods and everything so that was quite interesting and um, but I'm now gonna let the man do the job and I'm not gonna disturb him anymore so hopefully he will get this car done tomorrow I think and then I can go pick it up and uh, I have the reason that I am changing this, I told you that also in the beginning of the episode and that is because of uh, the 
from 2001 until the end until the middle of 2003 the rod bearings was like a weakness on these engines it was kind of a, yeah it was not good so we have now swapped to like facelift uh, rod bearings which came the type that came after 2003 or in the middle of 2003 and one funny thing that we found out that even though this car has 160 kilometers on it and that's what BMW recommends that you should change it after 160 kilometers the rod bearings were actually changed we saw that when we took them out now that they were actually pretty good so they have been changed uh, back sometime I don't know when but they have been changed so that's kind of good to know that the car has not been running with bad rod bearings so that is very good and healthy for the engine so I do like that a lot but now they are even better they are fresher and we bought I use I am using rod bearings from King I like high performance uh, rod bearings so those, those should be very good and uh, yeah the car is coming together quite nicely so uh, I hopefully I can start driving this car like not hard but like properly drive it and uh, I think it will be pretty fun to try the car properly now so I am looking forward to it I will try to go to a lot of meets and uh, track days and I will maybe also try some like drifting with it and stuff like that so it will be quite fun so maybe already this weekend to go on a meet I don't know but uh, anyways let's wait until tomorrow and see Maybe the car is done tomorrow and then I can go pick it up. So let's just put, I will now put the camera down and then we'll skip to day number three. Okay, it is actually day three now. And as you are noticing, I'm driving my E46. So that means that it's actually done and the rod bearings are changed. I got new oil, I got new like power steering oil and uh, new gasket for like the the bottom part of the engine I don't know what that's called but yeah new gasket so a lot of new stuff on the car and new rod bearings that's the most important thing I did change the new bar rod bearings so the thing I've been thinking about ever since I bought it is finally fixed and that it feels so good because I have been thinking about that seriously just every day when I drive this car and just worrying about when those will like break so um, and I do not want to ruin this engine because the engine is very expensive so I do want to take good care of it and uh, I need to treat this car differently than my other cars because this is quite more expensive so I need to act like it so yeah I am really happy about it now and uh, it still pulls really good it's still 343 horsepower and uh, but now I just feel like it's more safe to drive so I am actually going on a drift event this weekend, that's just a few days and uh, I'm really looking forward to that drift event because that's seriously just going to be amazing, that will be the first time I try a M3 on track, so uh, I'm really excited about that to be honest and uh, I seriously just can't wait, that will be great fun and uh, it's not like a, it's like a, yeah, it's a track day kind of a thing, so, or a drift day, so I think that will be a lot of fun, I will bring myself some, I will bring some tires and uh, so I can do some drifting and uh, yeah, really test out the car and uh, see how it performs. So now, like I said, rod bearings have changed and I'm a happy man and now I can start using this car properly. So there will be, like I said, track day this weekend but also more driving with this car later on in the season. And there will be upgrades like uh, exhaust and maybe new wheels, new tail lights. I know all of you guys are talking about that, but uh, yeah, those changes are coming probably, but not just now because this mod that I just did or the rod bearings was quite expensive. So I don't have so much money right now. So uh, I'm just gonna wait until I get some more money and then I will, I will just have to wait until uh, I get pay from my work and then I can, buy some new mods and if you guys are wondering I don't I don't know if you're wondering but if you guys think that YouTube pays me like a lot of money I can tell you right now that this is basically charity work like for real I'm not making anything or I'm making a li little bit but that like seriously what I make a month on YouTube is seriously what gets me 
out of my driveway, driveway in the morning and into the street like 20 meters worth of gas that is what I'm getting so that's why I have a job on the side and that was that is what taking up a lot of my time these days but uh, I will start producing a lot of videos for you guys again I know it's been very long since there has been a good flow of videos so I hope this summer I have some good time to make a lot of videos for you guys because I do want to make a lot of videos and I'm really excited about this new E46 S54 swapped coupe so uh, yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoy maybe this was kind of a boring video but for those of you technical guys liking to see how mods are doing whoa that was kind of cool look at this it's an M5 let's take a closer look at this Woo! that was a nice color as well really cool really cool hope you guys enjoyed the video at least I did enjoying to do this mod even though I did not do it myself I got someone to do it for me but now it's done so I can start use the car not be worried about like like this s54 engine is going to break so that feels very good anyways thank you guys for watching I really hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, leave it a like if you did like the episode and uh, I will see you in the next one and like I said, the next episode will be me on a track day with this car, so I am very much looking forward to that. I think that will be just epic, seriously. I think that will be so fun to finally see what this M3 is capable of. I think that will be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.